I'd pay £220 for this PS5 from eBay. It's apparently been dropped. And this is the listing. £220 plus £3.99 postage. And there's a description. Impact damaged Sony PlayStation 5 console for parts are not working. Condition for parts are not working, console has apparently been dropped and suffered impact damage. Dropped with HDMI cable in which has damaged the HDMI port. Nice. So let's have a look at this port, shall we? Uh, okay, it's, uh, yeah, it doesn't look great, does it? It looks like it's all bent up and it looks like it's been pushed back slightly. So I'm not going to bother putting a HDMI cable in there for fear of damaging it more, but let's put some power in and let's see if the thing actually turns on. Okay, let's press the eject button first. Yes, okay, power. Yes, it's making all the right noises. And we have a blue light. Let's see if that blue light turns white. It's already gone white. Excellent news. So it does look like this might just be a HDMI problem, which would be nice. Right, well, let's shut it down and take it apart. And this is only the second PlayStation 5 I've looked at, but I remember there being at least 4,000 screws, I think, inside. I suppose we should really check to see whether this has already been opened, because that usually tells you something, doesn't it? Ah, how do you do this? I can't remember. There we go. And... Da-da! That looks like it's intact to me. Nice! No one's been in here before. Awesome. But what is that? What is that? It's like a sweet or something. And, what, and what's this? That's like a balloon. That's a... What the hell? Right, well that's going to need cleaning up. Just hope none of that sweet stuff went any further. There's a little bit here. Uh, looks alright for the most part. Hmm, let's have a look at the other side. Okay, I mean, it's a bit scuffed up. I don't understand how people do this to their consoles, but... I mean, that looks okay. The fan's very dusty. Anyway, that's enough waffling. Let's get this thing open. See straight away that the port is all is all beat up here. It's all yeah, massively bent out of shape. Right, let's get this clamp off, remove these ribbon cables, that's already done. Just that one, I think. And then hopefully I can get the board out. Oh no, got some more screws. Of course there's more screws. Wow, such fun. Okay, how's the liquid metal looking? Hmm, 
Looks like we've got a tiny dry spot there. Okay. That looks okay, I think. I'm just glad to see that liquid metal isn't everywhere because with drop damage, I suspect the liquid metal m might go everywhere. But it doesn't look like it has. Right, well, we've got access to this HDMI port now. Finally. Well, let's get it under the microscope and let's see what the damage is. Well, it does look like all the pins are still connected there, doesn't it? Excuse the furry tweezers. Yeah, I think they're all on. So it is just massively misshapen. If you look at it on this side, look at that. Wowzers. I mean, I wonder whether I could just squeeze that back together. I suppose I should replace it. No, I'll replace it. Oh, I'll try to. Right. How do I get that off? Unfortunately, this is where I need two Omnivices. <laughs> um, I can improvise, though. Let's think of something else. This little fella might work. I'm going to really struggle to film this because I need to get under the port and you're not going to be able to see because it's off the camera. Right, I think that's the best I can do. Let's try and get this port off. This does not want to come off. What am I doing wrong? No, it is loosening. There we go. If I remember rightly, there's a tiny little capacitor just near these little pads here. So we definitely need to be careful with that. Nice and clean. Apologies for the racy angle here, but I won't be able to tin those pads up without the microscope. So that's the best I can do. So hard. I've got nothing to balance my arm on. <laughs> right, well, I think they're all okay. We've mixed in some leaded solder. Let's do the anchor points. good. Got some replacement HDMI ports here. And I'm just going to try and tin up the legs on this port to make it a bit easier. That looks pretty good. And now we've just got the simple task of putting this one on. Okay. Honestly, I don't know how that went. It felt okay. 
but I need to get it under the microscope, clean it up, and double check that everything is solid. Right, well I think that looks pretty good. And this is before cleaning it up, but let's just check these pins. Hand solid. Oh, I missed the last one. Solid. I'm really pleased with that. That's probably the best HDMI port replacement I've done. And it's the first one I've ever done on a PS5. Right, let's clean it up. And let's check the back. Oh, that's not bad, you know. I mean, they're not shiny because it's a mix of leaded and unleaded, but I'd say they're they're good enough. Yeah, happy with that. All right, I'm going to take these bits outside and give them a good clean because I don't want to do it in here because the dust will go everywhere. Uh, and also clean the inside of the case that was manging. Manging is is a word. Uh, obviously, these whatever they are and stuff. And I'll be back shortly. Nice. Even though I did that outside, there's still a load of dust in here because it's just literally everywhere. It's horrible. Right, let's try and sort out this uh, thermal, no, not thermal paste, liquid metal, whatever it is. Or as I like to call it, devil juice. Devil juice, the world's favourite cooling solution. Right, so we've got a bit of a spot there. How, how, how do we do this? Do you just use a cotton bud? And sort of move it around the place? Yeah, that kind of works. Right, I'll tell you what, I do have some devil juice in here. So let's just add a little bit more to this. The incorrect amount, obviously. Oh, oh wow, that's far too much. Oh no, stop it. Uh, can you suck it back up? Yes, you can. Right. I think that's enough. Just try and move that around the place. Oh, nice. Yeah, I'd say that was much better. Yeah. Right, well, let's get this back enough to test it. I'm not going to be stupid enough to put 4,000 screws back in. <laughs> Although it would be nice, but no, I'm going to put this back enough to test it, and then we'll see what happens. Is that enough? It doesn't need the disk drive in or anything, does it? I don't think. Well, let's find out. Let's get a HDMI cable. Nice. And I'm going to test it on this. I'm not going to show you, so there's no hashtag spoilers, but you might be able to tell by my face. All right, we're all hooked up. Here we go. Powering on now. That's good. That's good news. Fan spin. We've got the blue light. Does the blue light turn to a white? <laughs> shh, shh, shh. <laughs> right, I'm going to put this back together now. Obviously, you don't know whether it's working or not. <laughs> I'm not looking forward to putting this back together. I'll, I'll either fast forward through it or I'll just fade now. Oh, I've just done a Vince. <sighs> right, let's see if this thing works. Well, I know it works. I mean, uh, right, let's plug it in. And connect up to a monitor just make sure it's all gone back together properly okay here goes oh yeah come on there it is get in just 
gonna plug a controller in. So far, so good. Nice. It does look like this has been factory reset. Which is odd, I don't know how you would do that if you've got no display, but maybe there is a way. Okay, all looks good to me. Let's see if it plays a disc. Believe it or not, I don't have any PS5 games, I've only got uh, PS4. There it goes. Takes it in nice. Oh yeah! I think my daughter is going to be very happy with this. Do you want PlayStation 5? Is that it? <laughs> okay. This is really quite hard to play at this angle. Ooh. Oh, I've got a rubbish gun now. Oh. Stupid game. I remember when Rock was young. Me and Susie had so much fun. Holding hands and skinning stones. Had an old gold Chevy in a place of mine.